10, we're learning more about a squatter situation in Miami. Neighbors say people living in a home don't have the right to be there, but an attorney revealing why they just can't be kicked out. Local 10's Ian Margul is live with details on this story. Ian. So this situation has been going on for months at this point. Neighbors really, really tired of it. The owners of this property have thought they've had it solved several times, but these squatters just kept coming back. This normally quiet Miami street has become a major headache for people living nearby after squatters moved into this home and have been causing problems for months. The house is owned by the Global Horizons Group, a property management company that in mid-June registered the house as vacant with the city. But just a couple of days later, the squatters moved in and no matter how many times they get trespassing warnings, they keep coming back. As recently as Monday, two people were arrested here, one on a warrant for a robbery and armed carjacking and one for trespassing and possession of methamphetamine. Outside, there are syringes on the ground and a broken window shows how they get in again after the owners change the locks. And it turns out legally, it isn't as simple as just kicking them out. It's not that they have rights, it is that we have a legal process that has to be followed. Attorney Kevin Fabricant says first you have to go to civil court, essentially to get permission for police to remove an illegal tenant. The problem is once that happens, it's up to the owner to keep them out. Once the sheriff executes the writ, meaning they went there, they in theory removed the person, it gets typed into a computer system that the writ's been executed. So as we speak right now, the owner is having this property boarded up, hopefully for the very last time. I spoke with them on the phone earlier today. They say they are just as frustrated as the neighbors who live here, but they say they feel terrible for the neighbors who live here because while it hurt the wallets of the, pro the property owners, it's just it's hurt the lives of the people who live here. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.